Hello everyone, I'm Daisy from the Carers Centre and I'm here with Tracy from the Independent Living Centre in Dundee. Tracy, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Tracy Oram and I'm an occupational therapist by profession and I run the Independent Living Centre for Dundee Health and Social Care Partnership. That's great. And so where is the Independent Living Centre located? So it's off the Forfar Road. The easiest way to think about it is when you come up past the jet petrol station, that little mini roundabout you could go to either Fintry or not, you're going to turn left there and come into that industrial estate. And we're signposted and we are just the second building up ne next to the fire station, so we're easy to find. Oh, that's great. And so what is the Independent Living Centre? So it's a bungalow almost, is the best way to think about it, which is fully functioning. So it has bathrooms and kitchens and living rooms and shower rooms. And it's a little bit like a library in some ways so that you can come and visit and you can have just a tour around yourself. You can try all the things, everything works. You can look at information. Or if there's something specific that you would like to know about, so perhaps you have a difficulty, perhaps it's getting in and out of bed and you wanted to see what kind of equipment might be able to help you with that, then you can book an appointment and somebody will actually take you around the various different kinds of pieces of equipment that help you with your problem getting in and out of bed in this case. And if um, there's something which is, they'll be able to give you the pros and cons because there might be one or two items that would be suitable, but they might be able to give you the best idea as to what would be suitable for you and your particular bed. So the idea is either just come around to have a general tour, have a look around yourself, or to have specific information given to you that you can then uh, take away and, and consider either purchasing a pieces of equipment or perhaps um, be assessed uh, in the formal process if you were looking for you know, the Health and Social Care Partnership to provide that, that piece of equipment or whatever for you. We also have adaptations here so people can see what a level access shower would look like in their house. It gives a much more realistic idea and they can spend plenty of time seeing what it's like to get in and out, what the doors are like, how they feel, um, that sort of thing, so that you can decide whether you're going to make that kind of purchase for yourself. Yeah, that's great. I can see why that would be really useful. So what's your role within the centre? So if the people were looking to book an individual appointment, then that, that appointment would be with myself um, because I would be looking at, you know, whatever information you require or any equipment that you require out with the criteria, which would be if you were coming to the services, so like for the occupational therapy services. So this is independent advice, if you like, and information which would be regardless of any eligibility criteria or things like that, that the health and social care partnership might hold. Okay. And so how does the centre support carers? So we have um, the ability to have anybody come in. So one of the main reasons we've had carer, supporting with carers has been where perhaps you have had a loved one who's been in hospital and there's suggestions about having changes made in your house, either equipment or adaptations. And, you know, you don't really know what that's going to be like, the impact of having that in your house. So people can come here and actually see these things and actually have a conversation about what that would be like in their property. And one of the best examples, perhaps, where a, a carer was very uncertain. They'd been caring for their, for their partner for a very long time um, and had used their own methods, you know, in order to care for their for their loved one. And obviously when this person had gone into hospital, uh, a care package was suggested and it was the use of a hoist was going to be something that they felt would be better for their, you know, for the loved one. However, it's very difficult if you've been caring for somebody in a certain way for a long time, you know, to appreciate the other people coming into your house for one thing, and also that they need to use certain pieces of equipment where you know, perhaps the method you've used, you felt was safe and comfortable and your loved one, you know, felt happy with it. But if you do need these services, on, you know, with the health and safety, they do need to use the equipment. So people have come here just to really familiarise themselves with this person, particularly with the hoist, um, and felt so much happier about having seen it, saw its size, could think about what it would look like in their room, could think about how they're going to disguise it as well, you know, disguise that in my room. Um, and so felt happier then before the care package was coming. So it's, it's that kind of thing. It's more about being able to show people the things in what they're really like, yeah. you know, and to be able to explain to them sometimes maybe why we have procedures which 
sometimes are difficult to grasp as, as I say if you've been doing a task for a long time and you felt happy doing it that way so it's that that kind of thing we would be doing for carers okay thank you and so how would you recommend people get in contact with the center and you know access these services so obviously with the covid like everybody else everything has been you know on shutdown but we are now we are now open the center is open so between um i would say nine and half past four people can just come in monday to friday this is uh, can just come in if they want to just look around if you know if they wanted to um actually book an appointment to discuss something specifically then we think it probably easier to email me um, if that's an option or to to phone into the to the actual um occupational therapy service um so that somebody can contact me obviously by phone or whatever um because i'm not based here and i would just come back up here to when it suits the person you know i don't want to say i would only be here on a wednesday because obviously with your you know your your care situation or whatever you wouldn't a wednesday might not suit i mean a thursday at two o'clock might suit one person and you know a monday at eight o'clock might suit another person um so rather than say i would only be here one day a week we would see if people would like to book an appointment then we'll you know we'll work in with them what is the best appointment for for themselves okay yeah that's great so what makes the center different in your opinion what stands out compared to other similar services well this is a fairly unique service actually there are very few of these independent living centers in 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 the whole of the country in the whole of the uk in fact um because they're quite costly to have um so a lot of places we might have had one in the past have mothballed them if you like and, and they don't have them um so it's quite unique there's not one you know like this for a considerable distance around um, i think there was one in elgin for a while there's certainly one in uh, in edinburgh um, but they're often as well not necessarily particularly accessible to the public, whereas this one, you know, is you can drop in, as I say, uh, Monday to Friday. So I think that's what makes it unique. Um, it perhaps uh, doesn't have the range of equipment that you would want. So if there's something specific, that's why it's so handy to know that in advance, because sometimes we could get in various different pieces of equipment that we might not necessarily hold. And um, it's not particularly smart, if you like, at the present. Um, but again, if people are looking to see how something like Echo Show would work or Facebook Portal, um, we would be looking to have these items in here so people can actually see what it's like. How is that going to make a difference to you? So I think it's the fact that there aren't many of them around really makes it quite unique. Yeah, definitely. And so what's your favourite part of working at the centre? I think I like um, the unusual requests and it's not necessarily yeah, I'm, I'm that there's, a bit of a um, there's something that we can do request. i do we can help with x get to but do because x. we have the time you know it's it's in a room here we have various different bits and pieces of equipment or adaptations that we can try we can generally make something work um so often i've done bits and pieces with people with cutlery um particularly and i have a link with the design students um at dundee university and so if there's something really unusual then we perhaps can get a bit of assistance from them. They come to us, so we can go to them as well. The unusual request is definitely for me. Yeah, no, that sounds great. Well, that was kind of all of the questions that we had prepared today, but have you got anything else that you'd like to add? No, I think it's just um, to say that this is this is a really, you know, good resource. It does, it does give people a good um look around and examples of what art what is available um it would be fair to say that it's used a lot for training so a lot of people know it in that sense but it's perhaps underutilized um and it seems a shame to have made the investment in this building um and so we would really like people you know as many people as possible who have an issue who would like to come and discuss it to actually uh, approach us and and come and see the center and um you know perhaps you know see me individually or perhaps just like to come and have a look around and, and get inspired from there yeah no, that sounds great well thank you very much for your time so, so this building is set out like a bungalow we have staff here to take their details as you come in and uh, we have all the rooms going round in the square. So the first room that we have here is the kitchen. So this is a fully accessible kitchen. We have a standard kitchen and we have a height adjustable kitchen. We have all myriads of different pieces of equipment here. 
um, that we can uh, help you to manage your tasks with. So we have different kinds of taps. So if you're looking at changing your taps, everything works in this um, kitchen. So you can try what the pressure's like, how does that feel on your hand, etc. Um, so we can book in, you can come in and make a meal, you can try any of the pieces of equipment, you can to check what it's like to have um, cupboards that come down, whether that would be something that you, in your design, in your house, would be suitable, um, height adjustable units, again, depending on what kind of um, property you're in, whether this would be something that would be useful, depending on the members of uh, your household. So all different kinds of different bits and pieces of equipment we can try people with. So we'll move on through to the next room, which is the bathroom. And this bathroom um, has been designed with baths from left and right sided, so we can um, try different pieces of equipment, we can try and mirror the kind of bathroom that you have, various different pieces of equipment, different pieces of equipment in relation to continents, so that's a big issue for a lot of people, and we can have a conversation about uh, continents and uh, products as well, so this is our uh, bathroom, and next door to this room we have a shower room. Again, not everybody has uh, baths in their house. We have a, a shower room. So, we have different kinds of showers. And again, the showers all work. So, if you wanted to know what it was like to try out a power shower or an electric shower, these rooms are bookable. The doors can be locked, and you can actually have a go and see how you would manage. Whether that would be one thing would be better for you than another. Obviously, um, when somebody's booking this room, we can take out some of these bigger pieces of equipment which are here at the present, which are um, required for people with varying needs. So, um, obviously, we keep them in here uh, to keep them clean and available for people. But uh, generally, if somebody's booking the room, then we move out the products that they're not going to require. So, that's us. The next room that we have to this is a living room. living room has a variety of chairs um, and different pieces of equipment in relation to holding your book, um, whether chairs can be adapted, you can have a conversation like that, things to do with uh, hearing and visual impairments, we have a variety of bits and pieces of equipment here that um, depending on the issues we can discuss with people, but again you can come, you can try the chairs, you can stay here for any length of time, you know, so you can actually tell whether that's going to be a, a suitable product for not. We have a um, closet mat toilet here, um, so that's a wash and drying toilet. So again, it's fully functioning. We can, you know, you can come in and you can try it. If somebody's recommended this is a product for you, having difficulty with your hand function, you can't manage personal hygiene. Um, this is something that might be a product that would be helpful for you, and it's it's a it's a different sensation. So it's really important that people actually have felt what it's like to be on these pieces of equipment um, before anything like this was would be put into your house. And we have a, a different product, but a similar theme over in this bathroom across here. This one is called a Gerberitz, but it's a washing drying toilet as well. Different look altogether, has some different functions. Um, comparison, so again, people can come and we can compare one with the other and actually find out which one would suit you best. This is a Pamist uh, bathroom, so if somebody were to be in the area and they wanted to use the bathroom, it does have an adult changing plant and overhead each gantry tracking which covers the whole of this room. So uh, this is a change in places toilet and people can come in with their own slings and use this for that purpose. And the only other thing we have is um, obviously with COVID we've, we've, been, we've not been fully open so we've been utilising this area but all of this, inf there's information all around here, different products 
uh, it's a bit like a library. There's ones that people can take um, if they want to take information home with them, and it's all set out in different different categories depending on whether it's advice, information about home, about specific conditions, about specific pieces of equipment, about different adaptations. And, and the other thing that we have here are two working stair lifts. So again, sometimes people think a stair lift would be the ideal um, that would be suitable for them. And sometimes um, coming here can decide whether that is going to be an option. Um, sometimes the speed, if it's a continence issue, perhaps they're a bit slow, depending on the person's needs, and therefore a different solution to their difficulty um, is looked into. But it allows people again to see whether this is a solution for them.